What is good, my people? Don't worry about the hair. I've been working all day trying to make you guys videos, so don't worry about the hair. You're here for the information, not the hair. Awesome stuff for you guys right now. So I'm going to show you the complete, complete utter setup that you need to handle your fire sticks, your 4K fire sticks, your your Amazon TV cubes, your Navita shields, all that stuff, right? So I'm going to show you how to program it. And while programming it, it's going to optimize its performance. I'm going to show you how to how to change all those settings so you're not wasting data, so that you're not running uh, things in the background, which is causing lag and buffering issues. If it's your first time here, which I'm assuming it is, because if you already got it installed, you wouldn't be watching this video. But I'm going to go ahead and ask you, hit that subscribe button. And when you're done with this, go through my playlist. All the See all that stuff? All those apps right there? I have videos for every single one of them. And I promise the hair is not as bad on those videos. Enjoy. <laughs> Ladies and germs, we are going to show you how to set this Android device up. Um, what you're looking at here is the Fire Stick. So your Fire Stick, your Fire TV, um, for Fire Stick 4K, all that good stuff. You can use all this stuff on your Navita Shield and all that other stuff. But today we're going to do it on the Fire Stick. Okay. So the first thing you want to do when you set up all your settings is we're going to try to optimize it so it doesn't lag, doesn't buffer as much as possible. So the first thing you want to do is come over here to Settings. You want to access your network so that way you connect your Wi-Fi because if you don't connect your Wi-Fi to this, um, ain't shit happening. So go ahead and do that. Um, enter whatever password you got and whatever you're linked to. Get that done. After you do that, we'll come over here to display and sounds. You can work your screen savers, your audio, like for your audio. If you don't like hearing a little click, click, click every time you hit the button or something like that, you can turn that off. Um, the screensaver, I do not use it because, like I said, all that is is eating up your data and it's slowing your device down. So you can personalize those any way you want. Um, I personally, I do not. So the next thing you want to work your way over to is preferences, and this is very important. We're going to come down to privacy settings. And all of these things right here, this is what's eating up your data and slowing your stuff down. So like internet-based ads, those are those ads that are playing when you first set up your fire stick that's eating up your Wi-Fi data and that's also slowing down your device because it's having to run those things in the background um, same thing with collecting your app usage data and your device usage data you want to turn all those off because it's just slowing it down so we're gonna turn it off 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 and then we're gonna back out Come down to data monitoring. And we're going to turn this off. And then back out. Notification settings. The do not interrupt is on. I would turn it on simply because these um, notifications will tell you like when your battery and your remote's running low and stuff like that. So it's not that big of a deal to get the, um, the notifications come down to featured content now this is also like I said what's running those ads in the background and slowing your device down we want to turn all these off you're still gonna see the ads you just won't hear the autoplay and it just won't automatically like go to the next one you'll have to manually skip through them but the ads will still be there okay and that's pretty much it so once we're done with preferences we are going to go next door to my fire TV we're gonna click on that this is the very very important one we're gonna go to developer options my debugging is on because I needed it on in order to record this to show you guys, but that will come standard off. You want to turn it on because that's going to allow other things to access your device. The very, very, very important step is this apps from unknown sources. All the apps that you're going to download are from unknown sources. On, uh, okay, to unknown sources. You definitely want to click that on. And once you're done with that, you're done with your setup. Hit the back button. Hit it again. So once you backed out to this screen, we're going to go ahead and go out to our home screen. Okay. 
Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to get you this downloader right here. You need this downloader to download apps, to go and browse the, uh, the internet so that way you can go to websites to get apps from. So it's very important. So what you're going to do is you're going to come up here to the top, go all the way to the left. You'll see this little looking glass, okay? Push down and spell downloader. You'll probably only get to DO and it's going to be right there. Click on it. It's going to show it to you right there. Click on it. I already have mine installed. It'll take you through the process of installing it though. But once it does, your screen will look just like this. And this is where you're really going to do a lot of your work. So that is it. That is all you need to get started on your journey to watching and streaming free movies and TV shows and sports and all that other stuff. If this video helped you out, please go ahead and smash that subscribe button and go ahead and look at all my playlists. All these apps you see here, Mobdro, The Bookmarks, Typhoon TV, Cody, LiveNet TV, all this good stuff, I have videos for you to get. I have lots of uh, videos also of like how to adjust your settings for Cody so that way it'll optimize your streaming on that as well. I hope you guys enjoy yourselves. Have a good one.